once upon a time. In a quiet little village nestled between rolling hills and lush green forests, there were two young boys named Jack and Ethan. They were as different as day and night, yet fate had a plan that would bring their lives crashing together. Jack, the first boy, was known throughout the village for his kindness. He had a heart as warm as the sun and a smile that could brighten the gloomiest of days. However, Jack's family was among the poorest in the village. They lived in a small ramshackle cottage at the edge of the woods, barely making ends meet. But despite their circumstances, Jack and his family never hesitated to lend a helping hand to their neighbors when they were in need. Ethan, on the other hand, was the complete opposite of Jack. He was the richest boy in the village, and his family lived in a grand mansion on the hill. But with wealth came arrogance and selfishness, Ethan rarely noticed anyone else's needs or feelings. He was more interested in amassing his own fortune and possessions, often at the expense of others. One sunny morning, the village was buzzing with excitement. The annual harvest festival was just around the corner and everyone was preparing for it. Jack was especially eager for the festival as he loved the sense of togetherness and sharing that it brought to the village. Ethan, however, had a different agenda. He was obsessed with winning the biggest pumpkin contest at the festival and he spared no expense on his pumpkin crop. He bought the finest seeds, employed a full-time gardener and even had a golden fence erected around his pumpkin patch to keep it safe. As the festival drew near, Jack noticed that Ethan's gardener was struggling to care for the pumpkin crop. The man was working tirelessly day and night, but Ethan seemed to care only about the size of his pumpkins, not the welfare of the gardener. Jack couldn't bear to see someone suffer, so he decided to help. It's one moon at night, Jack quietly made his way to Ethan's pumpkin patch. Without a word, he began to water weed and nurture the pumpkins. He worked tirelessly, just as the gardener had, tending to the crop with love and care. It wasn't long before the pumpkins started to thrive under Jack's attentive hands. The day of the harvest festival arrived and the whole village gathered to celebrate. Ethan proudly displayed his enormous pumpkin, confident that he would win the contest. But to everyone's surprise, it was Jack who took the top prize with his massive, vibrant pumpkin. Ethan was furious, unable to comprehend how Jack's pumpkin had surpassed his own. He confronted Jack and, in the heat of the moment, accused him of cheating. Jack, ever gentle and kind, explained the truth. He had helped the gardener in secret, not to win the contest, but to ease the gardener's burden. He had done it out of love and compassion, not for personal gain. The village elders, touched by Jack's selflessness, awarded him the grand prize and praised his generous spirit. Ethan, on the other hand, was humbled by the experience. He realized that wealth and possessions paled in comparison to the richness of a kind heart. From that day on, Ethan's selfishness began to melt away, and he started to notice the needs of others. He and Jack, unlikely friends, eventually became inseparable. Together, they worked to make their village a better place where kindness, not wealth, was the most valuable treasure of all. And so, in the charming village nestled between the hills and forest, two boys showed that the true measure of a person is not in what they have, but in the goodness they share with the world. The tale of Jack and Ethan became a cherished legend, a reminder to all that kindness, no matter how humble its origins, can change the world for the better.